Alright, so hey guys, uh, today I want to demonstrate something I made a long time ago, so this is uh, P15, it's a 15 puzzle simulator. Now a 15 puzzle is a puzzle where you s uh, there's like 15 pieces on a 4x4 grid, and then there's one gap, and you can slide the blocks into those gaps, uh, which, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, And then basically you just scramble it, and then you have to solve it so that the numbers are in order. That's basically it. Uh, now, I made this in processing, so processing is like... Yeah, processing is what P5.js is based off of. Uh, it's basically a Java extension. It um, So all of this code is Java, and uh, it allows you to easily make graphics because it just presents it as like a canvas, and you draw stuff onto the canvas. Uh, so it's very easy to use, but it's probably not the best for a project like this, which is why this project is basically being abandoned. Um, but yeah, let me demonstrate this. So uh, you press S to scramble, R to reset. Um, and then when you press S to scramble, you can actually like start moving the pieces, and then it starts the timer when you move, make your first move. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to try and solve it. Ah, shoot. Messed up. <laughs> But yeah, uh, sorry for being a bit slow because I haven't done this in a while. But uh, at the top, it will show your time once you finish, uh, how many moves you did, and how many turns per second, which is uh, how many times you moved the pieces per second you did. So you moved the pieces using arrow keys, of course. Um, this is a very slapped together project, so I just like made this on the fly. Yeah, I just made this because there were no good looking... <laughs> uh, 15 puzzle simulators that didn't have animations. Of course, when you're going fast, you don't want there to be animations with the blocks sliding very, very slowly. That would be very annoying. Um, but yeah, so so this is like the, uh, the only 15 puzzle simulator I know of that like doesn't look garbage and is decent, uh, even though it's really bad. So just in the comments, please tell me what decent 15 puzzle simulators there are, please. One thing I forgot to mention is that... Uh, the coloring for this, so it goes from red, green, and blue, and so this is basically the fringe coloring of the board, because it's a solving method, I guess. So in the fringe solving method, you solve these pieces, and then you solve the green pieces, and then you solve the blue pieces. Uh, the reason for this is because, well, it's easy, because um, you can do this, and then cover up with this, and then cover up with this, so, so you're basically solving in an order where you don't make any of the pieces inaccessible. But obviously, there's a different. There is a different coloring that I use, also. But um, you have to change it in the source code. You can't change it in the um, actual thing because there's no settings menu or anything. So I don't know. It's really dumb. You have to change it in the actual source code instead of the. But yeah. So this is a different coloring. So pretty much, when you get a piece in the right position, it will be uh, green. If it's not in the right position, though, it will be. Um, it will not be green, it will be like white, so that's that's this coloring, uh, basically all there is to it. But yeah, so when you solve it, it will all be green, um, yeah, that's basically the second coloring, but you'll have to run it from source if you want to do that. I did plan on adding mouse support, but now it's been dropped because this project is made in a terrible environment, which is processing, it's probably not suitable for this kind of thing. But, um, yeah, <laughs> so mouse support, basically, you just, instead of moving the pieces with your keyboard, you move your mouse, you move the hole with your mouse, so this hole would be moved around and then the pieces would go around it. It's really weird, but it's faster, but I haven't figured out how to do that. Um, yeah, so, uh, astute viewers may know that, uh, th that the 15 puzzle does have parity, so pretty much if you swap two of the pieces, you can no longer solve it. Um, so how did I avoid that uh, when scrambling? Basically when I scramble, I just randomly scramble the pieces, so obviously there is the chance that there is a parity uh, case, but to check for that, I, I do cycle detection. So I detect for cycles and use that to figure out how many swaps how many pieces need to be pairs of pieces need to be swapped to get to the back to the original position and based on that i can figure out um what parity it is and in that case if it's the wrong parity i can just swap two of the pieces again to get the correct parity and uh yeah and then you can solve it 
which is pretty cool. Now, um, link probably down in the description. However, I won't be providing a build of this because I don't know. Processing is kind of broken. I don't know how to build this thing, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I just can't figure out how to get the Linux and Mac builds working. So that won't be a build. You just have to run it from source. I'll also provide a link to processing down in the description. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> so you might want to check it out, but probably not because this is such a bad program. <laughs> yeah.